Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maritza. As you guys can tell, um, I'm gonna be doing a cooking video today. I'm actually just gonna be showing you guys how I personally make enchiladas. And these are gonna be chicken enchiladas. Um, it is gonna be with like a red sauce and I am gonna be making that uh, from scratch. So I'll show you guys how to do that as well. If you guys are interested in learning how I do it, then go ahead and stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start. I literally just thaw out my chicken. I hope you guys can see that. And I'm just gonna be using two chicken breasts for this whole thing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it with water and go ahead and put it on the stove. Okay guys, so you guys can see here that I have already set my pot on the stove and I just put enough water um, that it like covers the chicken breast and I am only using two because it's just me my husband and my son So for now, I'm just gonna keep it like this Uncovered whenever it does start boiling. I will put it on low heat once that is boiling I'm gonna bring it to a low heat and then I'm gonna add my chicken bouillon for flavoring of the chicken And then I'm just gonna go ahead and cover it and let it cook on its own So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this to a low heat like I did mention you guys can see it's like it looks like it's almost off I'm literally gonna put it at the lowest setting and I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken bouillon right now But this is what I use for um, My chicken and what I do is I literally just pour it in the cap like this and about like that much. I honestly eyeball everything. Um, so this is honestly to your liking. I just realized that's gonna be too low. So I'm gonna put it back up to like a little bit higher heat. It's still really low. It's probably like at two and a half, almost three. Once it starts boiling again, because it shouldn't have been, it shouldn't have basically gone down all the way, then I will go ahead and cover it. So I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna go ahead and let it sit like this for the next like hour or so. And I'm gonna occasionally just come and check that it's still boiling, but that it's not overflowing and that the water hasn't dried up. If the water does dry up, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add more water right now. It still looks okay. Okay guys, so it is some time later and I just keep checking up on it. It looks fine. I still haven't added any more water. I don't know if I'm going to. I'm just gonna flip these though and then stick like a fork in them. They're already getting pretty soft and tender, but um, I'm still gonna keep these covered. I'm gonna lower it even more. I'm gonna put it like on the two now. And I'm just gonna let it sit like that. So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and move on now. Okay, so now I'm gonna start making the, uh, um, basically like the mole or like the sauce that you use to dip the tortillas in. And I'm gonna be using this chile guajillo, which is guajillo chili pods. And what I do is I take my blender, And I'm gonna be using about seven of these. What first I'm gonna do is take the tail off of these. And I'm gonna do the same thing to these, which um, it's like the same, almost like the same thing, but these are called chile de arbol and they come in bags like this, but a lot smaller. I'm gonna use just a little handful like this. This is to make it spicy. You don't have to do this step, but I personally do. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse all these and then just throw them in my blender. I'm gonna put like a cup and a half of water and I'm just gonna let these soak. And that's like the key to make the sauce like really good, is to let this soak in water before you actually blend it. I'm gonna let this soak probably like an hour or, or like 30 minutes or so. I'll let you guys know how long. Another thing I normally do is like if they're sticking out of the water, I'll just like cut them in half. All right, you guys, so I already went ahead and did this. Um, this is what I'm gonna be adding to the top of my enchiladas once they're done. This here is just onion and jalapeno and I just cut that into like little slices and then I just add a uh, lime to that and salt and then this here is just queso fresco and I just grated that this is the cheese that I use by the way it's just like the ranchero queso fresco um, and then lettuce and I'm also going to be adding this uh, crema mexicana which is just table cream yeah. so I almost forgot but normally we also add a uh, tapatio so I'm just gonna leave this here for when my enchiladas are ready then I will go ahead and add this to the top all right guys so I am finally going to blend this and make my red like salsa or whatever so I'm gonna be adding like one piece of garlic like this I actually freeze my garlic you guys and that's why my hand looks like it's wet because basically it is 
Um, so I'm gonna put that in there. And then I also use consomme for this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some in the cap. Probably like a spoon, like a, a teaspoon I wanna say. Like a teaspoon and a half maybe. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this. Okay, so once that's done, I already have preheated like my little pan here. Let me show you guys. And I already added oil to this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strain what I just uh, blended, my sauce basically. And I'm gonna go ahead and strain this. And I just usually use a fork or a spoon, whatever I have, just to get that all out. And I always add like a little bit of water to the blender and then throw it in there. So what I'll do is like I will add the water and just like stir it all up like this and then throw it in here. And I'm making a mess over here trying to hold everything and make sure that it's all like focused. Then I go ahead and put this up to like a medium heat so that it'll start warming up. I fry it like this just because it gives it like a different taste. And I go ahead and mix it all around because sometimes if you don't the oil just kind of like sits around the pan like it is right now Okay, so as you guys can see it's already like boiling all crazy I'm gonna go ahead and bring this to a low heat and you guys can see it'll like settle down right away So I'm just gonna let it sit like this for like another five minutes and then just turn it off until I'm ready to use it just so that it doesn't dry up any further and I did want to mention that the chicken is still um, on but I am gonna turn it off. I do think it is already done um, So it's been there for quite some time. I don't even remember what time we started, but it is 424 about to be 425 right now So I'm turning the chicken off and I'm just gonna leave it um, Closed because as you guys can uh, see it's like really really hot and it actually just makes it even more tender so I'm gonna leave it like that and um, I was just showing you guys how to make this. You guys already know. So yeah, I'm just going to leave these like this until we're ready to have dinner. And then I'll start doing the tortillas. Alright guys, so it is finally time for me to actually start making the enchiladas. And I go ahead and start by warming up some oil here. And I did just turn all these on because it has been quite some time since they were done. And so they're not hot anymore. Um, so for now, I'm just going to uh, let this all heat up while this heats up as well. So I'm just gonna put you guys like right here. I just have my uh, tortillas right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a plate here with the napkin. And I just do this so that um, the tortillas that I am frying, I can go ahead and sit them on here so that they're not super drenched in oil. So then I just start to fry my tortillas, you guys. And don't leave them in there too long or they will get pretty hard. I feel like if the oil's really high, then it gets um, basically it turns into a tostada right away so this is pretty fast paced also especially if the um, heat is pretty high the lower then the slower you can go so I just wanted to quickly show how I shred the chicken basically I pull some out with the fork and I just put it like on a cutting board or something and then I just take my fork and I literally just kind of push it and shred it like this and that way you don't ever really have to do it with your hands because it's so hot so you don't ever get burned okay so i hope you guys can see it there um what i do is i take my tortilla and i dip it in the sauce then i place it on here and don't worry if they look kind of like um too light i guess depending on how like runny the sauce is it'll be darker or lighter you can always add more to the top that's probably just what i'm going to do so basically, I'm just going to be, like you guys saw, dipping the tortilla and then adding my chicken and then just shredding more as I need more. That way the chicken's always hot and then you will just add however much more um, sauce that you want. And then all that's left is just add everything that you're going to add to the top of this. So I'm just going to do lettuce and queso fresco. And then I'm also going to add the jalapeno and onion that I made earlier. And then I'll just be adding some crema. 
And then usually to the top of this, we'll either add the patio, but I'm gonna actually add a little bit more of the sauce that I made. So this is what they end up looking like, you guys. Okay guys, so this is how I make enchiladas. I hope if you guys try it, you guys will let me know. Also, comment down below, do you guys eat your enchiladas red, green, or enchiladas de mole, or what type of enchiladas do you guys like? All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, let me know down below if you guys like these cooking videos and I will be sure to film more cooking videos for you guys. If you guys are new here, by the way, be sure to subscribe down below and also turn on the post notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any videos that I post. That is it for now and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!